It was the social event of the year. I now pronounce you Spanner and White. All the best people were there. There were the Whitworths, the Metrics, the AFs, and the Sid Drone relatives. There are always so many of them. And the types. The Tappets, the Sockets, the Crowfoots, the Half Moons, the Rings, the Open Ends, the Ignitions. So many Sid Drones. It seems that no matter where you go throughout the length and breadth of Australia, or in other countries of the world for that matter, you'll always find the Sid Drone Spanners. I suppose that if we added it all up, there are probably more Sid Chrome spanners than people. And where do they all come from? From the home of Sid Chrome, right here at Heidelberg, Victoria. The original company was founded in 1930 by Mr. Royston Siddons with four employees, three of whom are still associated with the organisation. The holding company, Siddons Industries Limited, employs almost 1,000 personnel and caters for many fields of manufacture and merchandising. This modern factory is one of the many subsidiaries formed during 30 years of progress. During these years, the organization, with the loyal support of executives and staff, has developed 18 subsidiary companies with branches as far afield as the United Kingdom, New Zealand and South Africa. And here, the spanner which is known throughout the world starts its life. Hundreds of tons of alloy steel of the highest quality suitable for hand tools first comes in billet form. This steel is made to the rigid specifications laid down by Sidchrome and the guarantee of quality starts right here because as soon as these billets arrive they are tested in the Sidchrome laboratory which accurately checks this steel for chemical and physical properties before being passed for production. When the laboratory is satisfied that the steel measures up to specifications, the billets go into the rolling mill. Here, the steel is gradually reduced to the required thickness by passing it backwards and forward through rollers. This improves the grain structure of the steel and brings the original billet to the required bar size. Steel rolling right on the manufacturing premises gives a very close control of quality, size and availability of material. No other hand tool manufacturer in the world has this unique advantage. of experiment and design lie behind each individual type of spanner. This open-ended spanner has been designed for strength, balance and light weight, while the thin head and pointed jaw allow access in limited working spaces. The contoured shank with smooth rounded edges gives the most comfortable grip. The incredibly accurate work required to produce the dies which will be used in the manufacture of this spanner is carried out in the plant's well-equipped tool room. Accurate die cutting is carried out with the very latest equipment, such as this mechanical marvel, the Cincinnati Hydraulic Copying Mill. Even the toughest steel is cut through with ease using this electric spark erosion machine. Many of the smaller dies are cut on three-dimensional profile mills. The apprentice operating this bandsaw is the son of a foreman, and he's only one of many second-generation employees. Incidentally, that's a trimming punch he's cutting. This lad, who's operating a pantograph, is one of many who are under the guidance of an apprentice master and the training they receive goes right throughout the plant. The 
die block, which emerges from the tool room, is now ready for the forging of the spanners themselves. Red hot bars of metal are preformed to match the impression in the die block. The final shape of the spanner is now becoming apparent as the flash or fin is trimmed from the forging. Alloy steel makes good forgings. Forgings make good spanners. Automatically controlled electric heating brings the socket billets to the correct temperature. When it leaves the powerful maxi press, the socket wrench, fully forged, is of the most consistent quality in the world today. Microscopic examination of all forgings is carried out at all times by highly qualified metallurgists to check that the optimum grain flow is present to conform to the company's rigid demands. After normalizing, all scale is quickly removed by shot blasting leaving the spanner with clear brands and a fine matte surface. This special purpose machine automatically grinds all four head faces to their correct thickness, the two large grinding wheels producing flat and absolutely parallel faces. Sidchrome sockets are fully forged to ensure that the grain flow follows the contour of its shape. Sockets made by punching the serrations from a drilled bar have the grain flow cut, thus weakening the material. Here, centerless grinding produces correct wall thickness and fine finish. Broaching, recognized throughout the world as the most accurate method of machining, is used to size jaw openings of all open-end spanners to the fine tolerance required. The combination of an experienced operator and first-class equipment produces that extra quality that is found in Sidchrome tools. High quality alloy steel must be matched by specialized heat treatment to toughen the steel. This fully automatic furnace of the latest American design is capable of controlling temperature and atmosphere to the finest degree. And once again, the quality of the steel is checked, this time with a Rockwell hardness test to ensure exact adherence to laboratory specifications. Every individual spanner is gauged to check jaw opening tolerances and carefully examined for any surface imperfections. These adjustables are now ready for chromium plating on this automatic machine. 
From this sea of dancing greens will emerge tools heavily coated with bright nickel. Samples of solution are taken every day to make sure that they're analytically correct. Specially designed racks carry the spanners automatically through no less than 26 tanks in the plating process. This one being the chromium tank. Every spanner which finally emerges from this machine always has the same consistent uniform coating, shining and protective. After a final check, the spanners are packed in distinctive bulk packs. Many are made up into a variety of sets, ranging from small five-piece for the handyman to the comprehensive 139-piece tool cabinets for the skilled mechanic. Trucks leave the warehouse with spanners which might be headed for markets in the nearby city or halfway around the world. In common with many forward-looking industries today, the company executives are constantly striving to develop new export markets. In cities as far apart as London and Hong Kong, you will find Sidrome spanners. South Africa is only one country where the name of Sid Chrome has become a byword in the automotive industry. The high quality of the Australian product has meant that Sid Chrome can compete on an equal footing with the very best available overseas and is now being successfully marketed in Canada, the United Kingdom, Hong Kong, Fiji, New Guinea, the Solomon Islands and Lebanon. New Zealand very quickly realised the worth of the Australian product and as a result, the Sid Chrome spanner is as well known to the average New Zealander as it is to the average mechanic and handyman in Australia. It's company policy to keep expanding the overseas market, so the export story will grow. Here in Australia, even in the far outback, the Sidgrome spanners are finding their way to the remote stations and small country stores, just as they are constantly pouring out into the cities and suburbs for use in the home, industries and tool shops. Of course, there's a right and a wrong way of using an adjustable spanner. When used correctly, the strain is taken against the solid or fixed jaw. A properly equipped workshop requires a full range of both types and sizes of spanners. This wall unit contains no less than 139 separate tools. The socket spanner can be used with many of the socket accessories available. In this mechanical age, it's essential that all bolts and nuts are torqued correctly 
so as not to distort the modern metals being used. Otherwise inaccessible engine studs are easily managed with a crow's foot spanner. The multi-hex construction of the ring spanner makes it an ideal tool for this job. Double-ended, open-ended spanners are undoubtedly the most popular and widely used over the whole field of industry. The confined space of a side valve opening is easily overcome by the specially designed thin jaws of the tappet spanners. Sid Grome Spanners for Pleasure. Sid Grome Spanners for Service. Sid Chrome Spanners for Commerce. Sid Chrome Spanner is for all the world. Sid Chrome hand tools are mighty tools, built to last a lifetime and unconditionally guaranteed.